worth the fight Love alone is 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 worth the fight This is amazing grace Oh my gosh, listen to that voice Listen to that voice, you have an amazing voice Thank you. And <laughs> you play guitar very well. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to introduce my guest. His name is Daniel Kingori. My name is Joy Mochache. You guys are watching the Why in the Morning show. Please remember that you can reach us on all our social media handles. That is Y254 underscore channel. That's on Instagram. On Facebook, you can reach us on Y254 channel, as well as on Twitter at Y254 channel. Back to our guest. So Daniel Kingori. Brian Kingori, yes. I'm so glad that you have come here. Welcome. Thank you. Karibu sana. Asante. We're glad to have you. Oh, so, I want to just dive into this. We have an interesting sign here that says, help a friend pay school fees. And it's pointing towards Kenya Aeronautical College Limited. Uh, I'd like to point out that my guest goes to Kenya Aer Aeronautical College. He studies, he studies aeronautical engineering and is on his first year. And um, I'd like to ask, what is this about, this particular? Well, um, it started out to the point where I was, uh, I knew that it might reach a point where I might not be able to continue with school. So I thought this is something I love doing. I love singing, I love playing the guitar. So why not do something with it, then gain something out of it? Mm, okay. Yeah. So you mix your music, uh, you use your music actually in order to get fees. Yes. That's so touching. And how, where exactly do you do this? Is it somewhere in Nairobi that we know about? Yeah, I usually do it at uh, Kencom. At Kencom? Yeah. And how do you do it? You stand or you sit or...? I just go to the place, get my guitar out, put the bag as it is, mm. then sit on one of those posts that are usually there, mm. then just start, start sting, singing. Oh my goodness, I have to ask you, how is it? Do, you, do, you, do people look at you funny on the streets? Do people turn? Do people kind of, you know, keep walking with their heads facing you? <laughs> well, people mostly usually turn. Yeah. Um, most of them are usually shocked because they've not seen such a kind of a thing. So it's usually like, what? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It confuses them a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And what sort of music do you play? I usually play gospel music. Gospel music. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are you a Christian? You're born again, or? Yeah, I'm born again. Oh, okay. So you only solely focus on gospel music. Yes. On the streets. Yes. Is it a form of evangelism, or is it just for your fees? Well, mo it's also a form of evangelism because I also seek to bless people out of it. Oh, really? Yes. And uh, ha I have to ask: Have people ever come up to you and said, "Oh my goodness, you know, I love this song," or "I feel like you've touched me, uh, touched my life in one way or another." Yeah, they do. They do? Yeah. Okay. Others usually even come and uh, ask for song requests at times. Song requests? Yeah. They come and tell you, can you play this and this? Yes. And you do it? Yeah. Oh, that's wonderful. Can you tell us maybe a story about someone who has come up to you and said, you've touched my life by doing A, B, C, and D? Well, um, there was uh, this one person, though indirectly, uh, talked to a friend of mine because she saw her putting me on her status and asked is this the brand that usually sings at Kencom yes the guy usually sings so well uh, there's this kind of blessing that he brings with everything that he does I just saw him at that point went back to another place then started crying because there was this sort of kind of challenge that they had because they never imagined that 
first there could be someone who would do such a kind of a thing and they were asking themselves she was asking herself what am i doing with life it's still the same case to another friend of mine we still talk up to date and uh, she also asked herself the same same question what am i doing because one thing they usually see in that is determination mm. that's one of the things that most of them usually get at that point and i like that you've mentioned determination so that brings me to a backstory because to do this do you do this on a daily basis yes whenever i'm free i'll do it on a daily basis okay whenever i'm in class or in other programs i'll have to try and squeeze it in somewhere so that i also cope with everything okay. yeah and so doing this and having to cope with everything what balancing all of this what is the driving force behind this what is making you really go out there to do this well there is only one answer to it if i may say god oh wow yeah okay so you're doing this for god is yeah. there what but then there's an instance where your first day the first day you went out there what was going through your mind what made you go out there on that first particular day to go and sing to pick up your guitar that first day what were you thinking what was pushing you to do it that day that was a time after my dad came up to me and told me that uh, he doesn't see himself being able to finish my school fee so i started wondering what possibly could I do so that I finish a dream that I really need to accomplish? And one of the things that came to mind was that I had already seen some other people go to the street uh, and sing. The advantage was that they had mics, they had speakers, so they would sing and be heard at a far much enough distance. Mm -hmm. Uh, it came to me this is what I love doing and if I try and depend on looking for weddings or events or anything it might not be enough okay. so let me bring it to the street myself let me bring something new to the street myself for the first time it was really hard I'm sure you were nervous <laughs> that first time yeah I think I stopped for I, st I, I, sa I sat down there for five minutes then wondered what am I going to do right now yeah why am I even doing this yeah maybe I should pack up and go <laughs> <laughs> yeah the feeling was there and how long have you been doing this there? Um, I did it one time during August holiday then during October it got to be a bit more often yes why were you just getting used to it or getting more comfortable with it or your well uh, I think it's the urge that I need to be there that usually pushes me to be there because it's not usually always usual because there's still those times that I will still get there and the tension and the anxiety will still be there. I'll still find myself uh, telling myself, Brian, you're strong, you can do this. Um, there's nothing in the world you can't do. Yeah. Okay, I get you, I get you. Yeah. And then I remember you said that you were doing this for God, but then your poster says, help a friend pay school fees. Yes. And then it's pointing towards a letter that says the name of your university, uh, the name of your college. Yes. <clears throat> I just wanted to know, anyone that has walked by you, do they stop and read what this is about? And mm. when they do, do they ever give a reaction to it? Let's say around 40% of the people that will pass by looking at this close by will come and try and read and see what the letter is saying. Some of them will literally just ask again what I'm doing. And most of them are usually shocked because they hear the name aeronautical engineering and they're like, okay, yeah. 
has someone ever offered to pay your fees? There are a few people who have come by and said that they have these organizations that usually try and help needy people, mm. even orphans. I've talked to a few of them and we haven't yet come to terms with everything, but at least we, um, I'm still headed somewhere in the same. Yeah. yeah. You're still going somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. I really admire your determination. Seriously. May I yeah. ask how old you are? Because you seem really young and not many people your age or youth that you, your age, or I'm just trying to guess your age, you know, have this kind of determination to do this. And because I feel like your priorities are so right, like you've set them in the right place. You've got, you know, God at the top, and then mm -hmm. here you are talking about your dad, he can't help you out, and so then you're trying to help yourself. I really admire that. May Thank I you. ask how old you are, and as a young person, mm -hmm. do you get bashed by people your age? I'm <coughs> 22 at the time being. Um, I can't really exactly talk about being bashed. I'm not sure what to say exactly. Um, a lot of friends or a lot of people of my age at this time don't usually have the sense of they have to do something so that they move forward in life. And one problem is that they're going to reach somewhere and still expect that someone is always going to be there, someone is going, always going to stand behind them and tell them this is what you're supposed to do, this is what you're supposed to do. And in the reality when they come to life and when they start living out their own lives, they start experiencing everything else. They have to know that they have to buy their own food, that they have to pay their own rent and everything. It gets to be so hard for them. Most of them usually get into depression. Others lose themselves even by just not having a job. So I, 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 I love or I usually want to show them that this is not the only, th it's not, it's not the, s the issue with life is not that you have to sit down and start worrying, it's that you have to sit down, compose yourself, make sure that you know what you want to do and just go for it. As long as you know behi behind your back you know that you can do this, you can move with it, then you're good to go. Wake up and grind every day. Yes. And where do you grind particularly? I know you said can come. Yeah. That's the only area. Or do you move around? Well, uh, when in town, I'll only be at Kencom. I've only been at Kencom. Mm -hmm. Maybe only in instances where if I am doing things, I'll maybe go play guitar on a wedding or things of the sort. Oh, Just things. small, small gigs. Oh, okay. So yeah. Can I ask more of um, a personal question about your family? Yes. You said that your dad is not able to pay your fees. Um, is there a reason why? Um, because my younger sister is also in uh, university. So I think the toll on him is really big yeah. because of the kind of job he's doing. I understand him. Yes. And... Um, I decided one time to just take my place as the firstborn and start taking responsibility. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Firstborn. Do you also do you do you assist in taking care of your younger sister? Well, I haven't started that much out mm. um, because I, I started this not long ago, mm. not long ago. Mm. So if it reaches a point and he's also not able to do that with my sister, mm. then I'll still key in okay. and see what I can do. Yeah. And like I've mentioned before, what you're doing is really admirable. Let's say yeah. that, you know, we have someone who's watching, who is interested, or maybe they're in the same predicament as you, the mm. same position as you, and they are, they would like to move forward in life in one way or another. But, you know, they have certain hindrances that they can't necessarily remove. Mm -hmm. How would you, and they would like to also <laughs> be bold like you uh -huh. and take to the streets and, you know, try and see if they can make 
something mm. and build a future. How would you advise them? This is what I'd say. At any time, you as a human being or you as a person, you have to realize that there's, yes, this body of yours that is here, either if, if it's fit or not fit, you have to realize that the person in you is inside you. And that is the person that makes that decision, whether to stay there or whether to move. No matter what kind of problem you have, no matter what kind of challenge you may have in life, you have to remember one thing, that you are the one with the say. So you have to get up, grind, and move. Because in this life, no one will come and say, let me help you. No one will come to your home and say, let me buy you flour or let me buy you food. The chances are very minimal, maybe at 1%. So you'll have to wake up every morning. If it's studying, there are a lot of ways that you can look for. You can look for the payment to study. There are a lot of people out there who usually also want to help people like us because they are there. I have met them. They always, they always say, I have always looked for a chance to help out someone, pay their school fee or do something for them. They're usually there. God places those kind of people, those kinds of people somewhere. And God ki uh, places such kind of blessings in different places. So you're the one who has to move. You have to get up and move. Yeah. That's amazing. That's amazing. Have you thought of writing a book? <laughs> 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 or even becoming a motivational speaker for the youth? I have been told that once. Oh, I have thought it. of uh, writing a book. Though the book might be about faith, if I may say. And your because story. that is what drives me. Mm. Yes. Faith is what drives you. Yeah. yeah. God is what drives you. Yeah. Okay. That's amazing. And I wanted to ask, um, yeah. you know, we've talked about, oh, you can become a motivational speaker, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You, like we said in the very beginning, when you're playing as a song mm -hmm. and you're singing, you have an amazing voice and you're really talented. Have you Thank ever you. thought of writing music and your own music, perhaps, recording it and putting an album out? Yeah, I've ever thought of that. Mm. There's usually that hustle at first of uh, how will I get the cash to produce or such a kind of things. I first still want to continue advancing in learning this so much to the extent that when I start, uh, yes, I'm going to start somewhere and I'm still, I'm, I'm still going to continue growing, but I want to be substantial enough not to hustle to look for people who will like my music, but instantly people will love my music. People will look at me and say, wow, is this the kind of thing that can come out of Kenya? Because you know, people ha also have this expectation of, it's only out there when you can get uh, maestros or masters in singing or let's say playing the guitar or things of the sort, yeah. I want to become the best out there. You want to become the best out there? Yes. Are you taking lessons to become the best out there? Mm, not exactly. I never even started out playing the guitar uh, by going for lessons in class. I just took notes from someone. He taught me how to read, taught me how to place my fingers. Then I started following tutorials, started following or started taking the little points and uh, tricks that people usually use in playing the guitar, then got to where I am right now. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. And um, you know, like, like we said, this is a youth show. A lot of young people are watching you. Yeah. And let's say they'd like to reach you. How can they do that? Where is, where are, what are your social media handles? Well, on Instagram, you can find me at Brian underscore N underscore K. You can have my number. That is 
057-349-0057-349 or you can reach me on Facebook by name Brian Breezy Kings. Brian Breezy Kings. Yes. The Kings is short for Kingori. Yes. I like that. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. It's been such a pleasure to talk to you today. It's been a pleasure also. And I'd like for you to continue with this. Don't don't let that determination die. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes you can get up in the morning and be like, why am I even, why should I continue? It does get tiring. Yeah. And looks on the street can even make you question what you're doing. But as long as you're sure of what you're doing and you're sure of where you want to go, nothing can stop you. Yeah. Continue doing what you're doing. And I'm sure very soon this will be answered, just like a prayer. Yeah, yeah. it will. Yeah. My, so goal, my goal is maybe reaching uh, a maximum of around 1.5. So it may seem big, yes, but to encourage the rest of the youth that are out there, I know, it's going to, um, I know I'm going to study. I'm not going to stop until I'm done. Good. Yeah. Until you graduate. Yeah. You said it was five years, yeah? It's for the a, it's a three years for the diploma plus another full year for the licensing course. Okay. Yes. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, don't worry. Keep it up. Keep going, yeah? And I just want to say to anyone out there who is interested in helping Brian Kingori in paying his school fees at the Kenya Aeronautical College, please, you know where to reach him. He has put out his social media handles. If you're listening, he also gave his phone number. Please feel free. He's a wonderful guy. He's not going to let you down this one. I can tell you that. If you help him out, I'm sure he's going to give back in maybe getting amazing grades at school and sticking to his promise. I just know this. So anyone who's out there interested in helping Brian Kingori, please, please go ahead and do so. And I'm sure God will bless you as you do that. Thank you so much for tuning in. Remember, this is Why in the Morning. And we're going to ask... Our man, Ukunyoma, to leave us with some music. <laughs> Remember, you can reach us on our social media handles. That is Y254 channel, and uh, that's uh, Facebook. And you can reach us as well on Twitter at Y254 channel, and also on Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. My name is Joy Mochache. My handle is Joy underscore Mochache. Have an amazing day. Take us.